So, like me, I'm sure many of you are well aware that there is a big event happening in the Salesian world in um, February and early March. And that, of course, is the relics of Don Bosco are coming to visit Ireland. I don't know about you, but certainly it's an occasion that fills my heart with great joy. And I hope that that will be your experience also. In the Irish tradition, and certainly in my own um, understanding, one of the places that I love to visit when I go home to Clare is to visit the place where my parents are buried. And that may sound strange, but I go there because when I visit their grave, I am in communion again with their spirit, their memory, and that gives me inspiration. As Irish people, we love to go on pilgrimage. Many of us go to pilgrimage to Lourdes or to Knock or to the Campostello in, in Spain. But this pilgrimage of the relics to Ireland is different because it's Don Bosco that's making the pilgrimage to us. He is the one that's coming to visit us. And he's coming to visit us so that we can experience his presence among us. And I believe that his presence among us will be a moment of great blessing, first and foremost for the Salesian family, who are inspired by this man. Most importantly, he will be a great blessing to all the young people in our land, because you were the most important people in his life. And not only you then, but all that work with you and that help you in some way to grow. First your parents, teachers, people that work with you maybe in sports organisations, in youth clubs, in different projects. Wherever young people are and those that work with you, Don Bosco comes to give you a blessing. And the blessing that he gives is to remind you that you are very much loved by God and that God has blessed each of you with different gifts and he wants you to share those gifts to make our world a better place. And many of you that know the life of Don Bosco will know that he summed that up in a very simple phrase. His dream in life and his goal in life was to let young people know that they were loved by God and to help them to contribute to society by using their gifts and also to contribute to the church by being friends of Jesus. Don Bosco for me is a man that reminds us all that we should be dreamers because he was a great dreamer and of course his life really started at nine years of age when he had that famous dream when Jesus and Mary appeared to him and reminded him and asked him to in a special way be a friend of young people and especially maybe young people that had forgotten who they were. My hope is that his visit as we um, join with each other in the different places where he will be coming, whether it's in Limerick or Dublin, in Northern Ireland, in Mayo, that it will be a moment of real blessing for all of us. A moment where we will connect again with our dream and that we will realise that our dreams are part of a much bigger dream. That's the dream of God. And God's dream is that we love each other and that together we try and make our world a better place. So I look forward maybe to meeting some of you in some of these events and I hope that this visit of Don Bosco to our land and to our towns and to our cities will be a time of great joy, a time of great happiness and a time where we will be reminded that together we are part of a wonderful family that he created, a family for young people. And I ask Mary, his help, that she will be our help during these special days so that it will be a very, very special time of blessing and of healing for all of us.